Do you ever feel like one bubble just isn't enough? Sometimes I wish I could blow a hundred bubbles all at once. Oh, I have an idea. Let's make a bubble snake. Wow, that is a whole bunch of bubbles. Do you know why all of those bubbles stick together? The hydrogen atoms in the water molecules all like to stay together, and that's what makes bubbles. And it's why all those tiny bubbles in our bubble snake stay together. You can even paint with your bubble snake. Just make a bubble snake onto a piece of paper and wait for all the bubbles to pop. While we wait for our bubbles to pop, let's read a book about an adventure to pop the very last bubble. We're going to be reading Pop, written by Jason Carter Eaton. It was a beautiful day, and Dewey was all alone blowing bubbles. You don't need a friend to blow bubbles. The best part of bubbles is popping them. <gasps> But no sooner had he said that than he just missed popping the very last one. Oh no. It caught a slight breeze and he stood up so he could see where it was going. It was going up. So Dewey jumped up and down to try and reach it. But in almost no time at all, it was out of reach again. He needed to jump higher. He watched as the bubbles sailed right over him. This was going to be harder than he thought. Dewey quickly fetched a ladder and raced to the roof of his house. <gasps> but the bubble was way, way past that already. Oh no, he grabbed his telescope. There goes the bubble. There was a really tall building in town. Dewey hopped on his bike and rode like the wind. Do you think he can catch that bubble? When he reached the building, he dove into the elevator and pressed the button, emerging moments later on the top floor. <gasps> there goes the bubble. Just moments after the bubble, he need to get higher still. Just then, a man with a hot air balloon passed by. Dewey quickly explained the situation to him. And of course, the man wasted no time giving Dewey his balloon. After thanking him, Dewey was off. He quickly gained on the bubble, but there must have been a crosswind because soon they were on opposite ends of the sky. <gasps> closer, thought Dewey. I have to get closer. Do you think he'll be able to get close enough to pop it? Let's see. The helicopter flying past would do nicely. After some explaining and thinking, it was all his. The problem with helicopters, however, is that they can only go so high. And this bubble was showing no signs of stopping. <sighs> he definitely needs something more. Mm. Like that biplane, which took some serious explaining and thinking, but was totally worth it. <sighs> up, up, up went the bubble, with Dewey and his biplane quickly closing the gap though not quick enough for his taste. His taste was more suited to that of a F-16 fighter jet on the horizon. Of course, it took a ton of explaining and thinking, but in the end, Dewey knew it would pay off. 
The F-16 was a gorgeous aircraft and zooming through the clouds was tremendously fun. But this wasn't about fun. This was about popping that bubble. Dewey pushed down hard on the throttle and boom, soared upward towards the bubble. He knew F-16s could only go up to 50,000 feet, so he'd need to catch it before then. It was close, but not close enough. He'd never be able to catch it now. There goes the bubble. Hmm. Not unless it just happened to be the day of the moon launch, which it did. Though as Dewey did his explaining and thanking, he knew this was probably his last chance to catch that bubble. But none of that mattered now. He was in the fastest, most powerful rocket in the world. There was no stopping him. Except for the fact that the rocket stopped on the moon. <gasps> there he is. Oh, the bubble's so close. Did he get it? No. Dewey returned home. He was sad that after all that effort, he'd never pop that bubble. That night, just before bed, he pulled out his telescope to see if he could spot his bubble. But something was blocking his view. A bubble, but not his. <gasps> so he popped it. Now Dewey could see where that bubble had come from <gasps> and where his bubble had gone. <gasps> It looks like an alien found his bubble. And he knew he'd found a friend. The end.